there he is. What is up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode. We are out here on the water doing the thing this morning. It's that time of year. Seasons are changing. Temperatures are changing. Fish are changing positions, patterns, all that kind of stuff. So we had a big cold front last week. You know, it uh, had several nights down in the 30s, a lot of nights in the 40s. Water really chilled down and then uh, warmed up just a little bit. And then this last night dropped back down into the low 50s. So the sun. Oh, there we go. It's the first fish of the day. A little bass. A little micro bass. Chunk. But I decided to come out here and do a little creek fishing today. Look for some trout, some reds, anything else. Decided to bring a little ultralight set up here. Got a little beetle spin, got some other stuff I'm going to try later on. He's got a good stretch of this creek. I got to get through. It's pretty fresh, and uh, I've had some good success with the brim and stuff here in the past. So decided to bring some of that just to make sure I didn't skunk this morning. <laughs> but like I said, main objective is I'm gonna try to see if I can't find any trout, locate any trout, maybe a good bass or you know, good red, something like that. But we're just gonna start pushing our way back this creek, working it down, see what we can find. I'm not gonna take my time too much with this beetle spin. Do this a little bit more on the way back up, but. Yeah, just, just getting out. It's a great morning. Got a lot of wind today, which is another reason that kind of drew me into here. You know, I was kind of limited on where I could get. Been on a pretty good flounder bite out in the bay, but with this wind like this, I didn't uh, try to fight that. You know, 10 to 15 mile an hour north wind and a kayak and out in open water is not fun at all. So we're going to see what we can do. And uh, yeah, y'all stick with it. All right. I'm starting to kind of get, get a little further down. Didn't have much luck after that bass. We went ahead and tied on a twitch bait. Just got the little Yozuri 3DS twitch bait. Kind of working a bone color. I usually like the chartreuse, but I realized I did not have it when I got out here. So we're going to go with that bone, see how that does for me. All right, we got something like a little Larry. of the morning. Not a big one by any means. Bigger than the first one. That's a start. <clears throat> Getting a little further down in this creek. Hoping we can run into some trout here shortly. Still using that, uh, that Yozuri. Seeing some bait and stuff rolling around. And a little bit of surface activity, but outside of him, I and that smaller one, I hadn't really seen a whole lot of what going on. For me, at least. But I'm thinking the closer we get down to the mouth of this creek, the better it's going to get for me. We'll see. A little bigger fish here. Another Larry. A little bit bigger one this time, at least. All right, there's another one. It's getting a little bit bigger this time, at least. Still looking for a speck, but not getting skunked, so I'll take it. All right, we got something. Oh, it might be a little speck. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for.
Go 15. 15 and a half. Nice. Here. all right everybody that's gonna do it for today's video you know it wasn't definitely wasn't the most action-packed day I think I caught uh, you know three bass one of them was a uh, a jumbo a jumbo bass and then I got one spec so I did catch the one target species I was after it's still a little early for those specs to be moving in I think you know a couple more weeks cold fronts you know some good cold weathers at night you know really cool that water down really should help out because we're still kind of hanging towards you know the the upper 60s low 70s so I think once we kind of peak you know or uh, not peak but drop below the, you know kind of that 70 degree mark is when we'll start to see a lot of the trout kind of moving up in those creeks and rivers and uh, it'll get good but I tell you the highlight of the day was that last fish I definitely wasn't expecting to catch that that was a nice bonus I've uh, have not uh, have not hooked a lot of those in Alabama so to hook that one get it next to the boat you know I'm gonna in my book I'm gonna count that as a catch because if I had been quicker on the net I probably would have got that so let me know below do you guys think that was a catch would you have considered that a catch or not because uh, I think I'm going to but yeah it was a good day you know caught some bass caught a speck caught that last one so it was uh, you know for for just kind of a spur of the moment trip wasn't really planning it you know just decided to wake up and get after it I was definitely happy especially with the conditions we had you know that that wind kept me from getting to where I wanted to go so it was just nice to get out and uh, you know have a little bit of action so if you guys enjoyed this video shoot me that thumbs up if you're not subscribed up make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you guys are interested in a guided kayak fishing beach fishing boat fishing any kind of fishing trip along the Alabama Gulf Coast be sure to shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com or you can just check out whistling waters on the fishing chaos app but I think that's gonna about do it for today I'm gonna get out of here if get this video finished up get this out for y'all and then I'm gonna I might get out this afternoon and do a little bit more fishing we'll see we'll see what turns up and uh yeah but like i said as always i appreciate you guys tuning in i appreciate all the love and support and i will catch you all in the next one